In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a quick and easy infographic to share for National School Counselor Week using Canva. You can easily share all of your data for your program and let everyone know the amazing things that you're doing as a school counselor. So let's hop right on Canva and I can show you how to do it on your own. The first thing you wanna do is go to canva.com. If you're an educator, you can sign up to get the pro account for free using your school email address. But if you don't have the pro account, don't worry, you can still use the free version. The first thing you wanna do is go up to the top and type in newsletter and find a template that you're interested in. So I'm gonna scroll through and I'm gonna find a template that I like to edit. Um, this is actually the template that I used beforehand. So I'm gonna use it again for this example. So after you found a newsletter template that you like, click customize this template. Also, if you don't like any of the templates, you can start from scratch and create your own. I always think it's easier to find a template that you can edit. Now that you've found a template that you like, you can start editing it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the colors. You click on the background of the thing that you want to change. And right now it's purple. So I want to change it to my brand colors for my school. We're going to use this blue for a color. And I'm going to change the lettering. So when it comes to text, if you want to change the color of that right here, you go to text color. I'm going to use red because these are the brand colors of my school. So I'm going to change all the pink to red. And right here, the easy way to do this, if you wanna change multiple colors all at once is just change all button, click that. All right, so this is good for now. I'm gonna put School Counseling 2024. You can change the font size because right now that's a little big, so I'm gonna decrease the font so it fits in here. Okay, that's fine for now. I'm gonna use this section here to add all of my school counseling lessons. You wanna have a couple different section options. So you wanna have a section for your school counseling lessons, your small groups, your number of individual sessions that you offered and any other events like parent events or things that you've hosted throughout the year. So for this section, I'm gonna keep it as school counseling. Here, I'm gonna list all the classroom counseling lesson topics that I've done this year. So I'm gonna start just, cope. I'm gonna put coping skills, Anger management, and I'm not gonna go through and make all of this, but I'm just just to give you an example. Anger management, uh, bully prevention, all right? And then I'm gonna change the, the size of this just a little bit. Let's just say I wanna have just a couple. So I'm gonna put 16, change this to 16 so you can see. If you wanna change any of the fonts, you click the text that you would like to change and go over to this drop down menu right here. And I'm just gonna do, Oswald. Oswald is an easy one. I like Oswald. Okay. And this is kind of large, so I'm going to uh, drop this down. It's 76, so I'm going to drop it to like a 28 for now. And then I'm going to take this and slide it down just a little bit. And I'm going to title this Classroom Counseling Lessons. Okay. And so then you fill out this section. This section here, I'm going to take this one and I'm going to title this one Small Groups. And I'm going to change the size of this. So that I've made this one 28. I'm going to make the size 28 for this one so they match. And here in this section, I'm going to list all the small groups that I've done throughout the year. So let's just say I've done a grief group. Let's done, I've done an anger management. And study skills. I'm going to leave it at that for now. For this section, I'm going to title this individual sessions that I've done. And I'm going to change this font size because it's way too big. Let's say I've met with 265 students individually. I'm going to put 265 check-ins. And let's say that they were all on um, SEL. And let's say I've done 100 academic meetings, mostly schedule changes. And let's say I met with 368th graders for their high school plans. You list the number of students that you've seen individually for ASCA's domain, so academics, social, emotional, and college and career. So that's a whole section. And then this last section, I can put some of the demographics of the school. I'm going to delete all these graphics because I don't need, oops, I didn't mean to delete that. Anytime you make a mistake, you just click this button here and it'll undo anything. So I meant to just click this right here, this little icon. I'm going to delete the text and the icons. And you get the hint. So 
The next thing you want to do, if you want to make this look more visually appealing, you can uh, delete some of these. You can add different elements and graphics. So you go over to the left-hand column to click on elements. And I'm going to click find a pencil. Click art. I like this one. And you just decorate this any kind of way you want to. You can also put your school's logo somewhere around here. I'm going to change this picture out and put a picture of myself in here. I'll just put this one for right now. And this is how you share your data for your school counseling program on Canva. It's really simple. You can be really creative with the way that you do this. But again, the main elements that you want to have in here is the number of classroom counseling lessons if you've done the, for the year, your number of small groups, your number of individual sessions that you've completed, and any events that you've hosted throughout the year. I also have a section where I talked about the number of 504 IEP meetings that I have attended. But in order for you to share this data and information with your stakeholders, you have to know where it is. I keep all this information in my planner and I can go back when I'm creating these and actually just input this data. You print this off by going over here. You can actually print it off or you can just share it through email. So you can share, download, and if you want to just share a picture of it, you can do it right here, PNG. Or if you want to send this to your staff, you can download it as a PDF for uh, documents and emailing and click download, save it on your desktop and share it out with your students, your staff, or even your families. This is a great way to share your data and advocate for yourself as a school counselor. And again, it's really simple to do on Canva.